Good morning and welcome back to the test bench videos. Um, as promised, this video is on how I balance points. Now a couple of things to note is that this side here and here you can balance as per normal. What you really need to be aware of is not getting any ballast or anything stuck in your frog area or on your flange guides here on here. Also you want to avoid any glue at all in this section here. Simple fact is that these points move if you get glue or ballast stuck in there your points aren't going to change and your motor's going to really struggle hard possibly burn out. So this is the method that I use. So just using a little bit of straight PVA glue in a pot I just get some on the tip of my brush like that and I just dab it onto the base there Taking care not to get any on the sleepers and just pull him up to your desired level. Oop, a little bit on the sleeper there. And I'll do that for the first couple of sleepers gaps. If you get a little bit on there, just brush it off. And if you want to put any in here, I personally don't, but there's a little hole here that I'm just going to top up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of straight PVA glue in there. And then once I've got my glue, I just tap in a little bit of ballast, just like that. Brush, just make sure you haven't got any balance stuck to any, any balance. Why do I keep saying balance? Just with the paintbrush, make sure you haven't got any balance stuck to the top of the sleepers. It's one time that it is fairly critical to get it off the sleeper. And just make sure that your sleeper still moves. You can see there's a little gap up here and a little gap up there. And what I'll do is I'll just pop a little bit more into there as, as I need. If you really want to, you can tap that down with the back of the brush. So it's in contact with that glue. And then I'll just let that, let that go off. This is the most critical area. Everything up here, you can follow your old method or the same method and just tap. It's the same principles as the other ballasting. You just have to take a little bit more care. Spread them out with your dry brush. I don't use a teaspoon to tap it in on the points because I don't want to damage, they're quite fine, I don't want to damage them. You just want to make sure you haven't got any ballast where your switch blades are going to move. See in here how we got ballast in here? It's just simply a case of brushing that out before you glue. If you glue your ballast in there you'll have derailments forever in a day. So we just cleaned it up. Obviously need to put a little bit more down in there. And you just want to err on the side of caution. A little bit of less ballast without derailments is much better than a lot of ballast so it looks good but your trains are derailing. I'm just going to top this hole up here. I 
You can also go for a, a mix of finer ballast with your coarse ballast. I'll pop some down there so it doesn't fall out. Just want to clean it away from any moving. If you've got ballast on the edge here, you have to make sure that your blades will still move and not stick. So it's sticking because there's a little bit of ballast in here. So we'll just move him out. Move him over that side, I think. That's much better. Right, see, not sticking anymore. This area here, less ballast. I'm just going to top up in here. Good. Now it's the same process as the rest of it. Just get ballast off that area there. Spray with our water mix. that soaked in just very carefully pop in your glue and water mix remembering that I've solidly glued those Last but not least, I'm going to do one little drop in the middle there. Last spray. Make sure that we've got movement there still. Yep. If you need to soak any excess up, just soak it up. If you've disturbed any of the ballast and got it where the points move, get it out. No, I'm just going to let that set. Just going to let that excess out of the spray. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.